So now we're going to talk about the procedure itself. So as I previously mentioned, the patient is in the supine position. I'm going to use the cardiac probe with the marker-oriented cephalad, or superior. In this case, I already identified the best, most optimal pocket uh, by, by ultrasonography, and I've now confirmed it uh, right where I would actually place my mark if I were marking this mannequin. In this case, remember that there may very well be atelectatic lung, so always be on the lookout for that in your ultras. In this case, I'm going to aim a little bit more uh, posteriorly just to ensure that, number one, I do not injure the lung tissue itself or the, or the uh, uh, visceral pleura. And the second reason is because this patient in the ICU is going to be supine. I want to make sure that uh, the fluid collects in a dependent fashion and that I'm able to access it with the, uh, with the chest tube. So in this case, I'm going to take more of this angle. I identify a very good pocket of fluid, as you can see on your screen. And essentially, I'm going to make a mark. When accessing the space with the needle, it's important to use the exact same angle of attack. It's going to be here at the fourth intercostal space. That's where my mark was. <clears throat> and I'm essentially going to palpate the rib, and go in just superior uh, to the rib surface, taking the same angle of attack, namely cephalad and posterior, aspirating as I go. Of course, we will have numbed up this area if this were a uh, regular patient. Okay. In this case, I have accessed the pleural space. You can see that my, uh, my angle of attack is such that when I feed the wire, as you'll see me do next, the wire will actually enter the pleural space and proceed in a posterior uh, cephalad uh, manner. and the wire proceeds very easily and without resistance. <clears throat> Depending on what sort of device you're going to use, whether it be a thalquick or a pigtail catheter, uh, your, the rest of your technique will be dependent on that.